Hey, what's up, everyone? Passive Baller here. Apologies if you know it took me so long. Um, something came up, and I just I just gotta go and do what I gotta do. But anyway, here we are on this March twenty sixth and Bay Game Day of Passive Baller ed Edition. Uh, we will uh, kick things off by talking about San Antonio Spurs, who's got a record of twenty nine and forty four, visiting New Orleans Pelicans with a record of thirty one and forty two. The game will be at five o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so that's gonna be five o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pass a Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the um, standings first because the standings would really tell us a lot on this particular game. Uh, let's start off with uh, New Orleans Pelicans. They are at number 9 of the Western Conference. Uh, for their last 10 games, they have won 4. Uh, a bit inconsistent, but the good thing about New Orleans is that approaching this game, they're coming off a win. Now, again, uh, mind you guys, uh, we need actually 10 teams uh, because uh, there will be a mini tournament that will be held for uh, spots number 7 to number 10 for both conferences. So New Orleans Pelicans, they are actually trying to hold on to that spot, even try to improve it to number 8 or number 7. San Antonio Spurs, they are at number 11 in the Western Conference. Uh, for the last 10 games, they have won 5. So if you take a look at the form, San Antonio Spurs is actually looking better. Not only that, approaching this game, they have actually won back-to-back. All right, so number 11, uh, uh, again, their, uh, their, standings, uh, their standings is at 29.44. New Orleans is at 31.42. Not really that far behind, yeah? Okay. All right, so New Orleans Pelicans, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, though, uh, we got to give it to San Antonio Spurs. I mean, we see it that uh, they have better form. Man, they even have back-to-back -back wins approaching this game uh, for San Antonio Spurs. Uh, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, I'm looking at uh, the game yesterday, and it seems like, yep, yeah, that's correct. Uh, both teams uh, had their rest day yesterday. So let's just go ahead and check on uh, the injury list or the health for both teams. Starting with San Antonio Spurs, it shows, um, I see four names down here. Uh, Romeo Langford, Lonnie Walker, and Doug McDermott, uh, they are out for this game. And we have Devin Vassell listed as day-to-day -day or game-time decision. So again, for Spurs, three players out, possibly four, depending on Vassell's situation. Now, checking on the New Orleans. Uh, well, it's actually nice because right now it, they only have three uh, names down here. Uh, so we got Ingram, Williamson, Zion Williamson, and Kyra Lewis Jr. There, there used to be uh, five normally, so... Now it's just three, so uh, they have uh, they have had improvements in terms of their health. Good job for the New Orleans. Now, uh, checking on the spread, it actually started with minus three for the home team, New Orleans Pelicans. As we speak, it is now at minus six. All right, so uh, this... Uh, again, just like I said earlier, this uh, game is so is, is so important for these two teams because again, New Orleans Pelicans they are at number nine. They're looking a little a, a little okay, yeah. But of course, um, if you're New Orleans, you would want to solidify your spot. You want to make sure that um, indeed you would uh, get in to that mini spot or mini tournament. If again possible, you would improve your uh, your chances by making it to number eight or number seven. Um, uh, well. What's behind him, by the way? L Los Angeles Lakers at, are number 10. They are at number 9. And the Spurs, they are just like two games or, or maybe two and a half games behind them. So, again, it's just a matter of you uh, losing a game and then uh, the, the other uh, team winning like a couple. And all of a sudden, you take a look at the standings and, man, <laughs> you guys are tied up. So, you really have to make sure that all possible wins should go ahead and, you know, take that W. The same thing or the same shit goes for San Antonio Spurs. Um, they are right there, you know, they can, they can still make it ma mathematically and in terms of, um, in terms of morale, man, they have a lot of morale this time. Just like I said earlier, their form is looking good. It's even looking better uh, as they have won five out of their last 10 and they have won back to back approaching this game. And those wins really look good, man. Uh, on those games, they, you know, they looked like a, a, a well-oiled machine, so to speak. Um, now, uh... 
New Orleans Pelicans, they have been, you know, they have been, they have been great. Uh, I, I gotta be honest, uh, they have been great. Uh, their their offense is just like man, crazy. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas and of course M- McCollum, man, they, they are crazy. And just like I said, I, I want, I, I even want to buy like a McCollum jersey right now. Uh, McCollum is looking good. McCollum is looking better in the New Orleans uh, jersey right now. But uh, the inconsistency is the problem right there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that San Antonio Spurs is a be- is uh, is more consistent. Nah, of course, man. That's why they are at number number eleven. But maybe at this time, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that side because for the again for the past ten games, they have won at least one more game. And again for the past couple of games, man, San Antonio Spurs they are really looking good. It seems like they are inspired when they saw that they still have a situation, they still have a chance to make it to the number ten. Um, for me. Uh, it could, you know, it. I, I understand. Uh, nor with New Orleans style, with, with New Orleans's talent, uh, they can actually win the game easily. Not really easily, but <laughs> yeah, they can go ahead and take home the win. But man, the spread of six points um, with this kind of team, San Antonio Spurs with Pop, with the momentum that they have, it's just so hard to go against uh, San Antonio Spurs, especially when they're on that kind of, especially when they're on that kind of momentum. So on this on this game, I'm gonna put my side on. San Antonio Spurs plus six. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be surprised, you know, even seeing San Antonio Spurs winning the game. But just to be safe, I'm gonna put my money on the plus six Spurs. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.